Shabbat Shalom, in the midst of Yahweh. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to the Yahweh Yeshua Temple. Those that are here in person, those that will see it on Can TV and Elton TV and Internet. We thank you for letting us come into your home and always I pray that the message that Yahweh give us be a blessing to you as it is to us. Yes. We always praise and magnify his name and we thank him for this Sabbath I yell. And the mission by the round the world. Someone on the side of that, yeah, hollering and shocking and magnifying their name. So it's a few here, a few there, but they all holler out his name. Yes, yes. praise Abba Yahweh. Yeah. So we thank him for those uh, Mishpachat family around the world are doing what he called them to do. Praise Abba Yahweh. Praise Abba Yahweh. We're going to be talking about reverence. Most of the time, the English word is translated fear, but Yahweh don't want us to fear. No, he does not. He want us to respect him or reverence him. Yes, right? yes. Honor him. Yes. Not fear. We fear him, and we are not serving him uh, willingly. No, we're, we're not. Him fear him. We are fearful of what's going to happen to us. So he don't want that. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh. Praise God. Uh, Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. We'll see what Exodus chapter 3 says. And we'll see what the Word says, what Yahweh says. What Dutch says, Yahweh. And you won't be going around and say, this is what Brother Makaya said. That's right. That's right. You'll learn to know that this is what does say Yahweh. It's the boss of Yahweh. You hear people always credit to the Moshe for something uh -huh. that he was he didn't do. Right, right. He was commanded to tell the truth. That's it. So That's what it. He was supposed to do, like in Deuteronomy uh, 28. And it, it used as I command you, but it's Yahweh the one with command it, right? right? Right, right. So we read that we we receive it, but the people that are trying to get away from the law, uh huh, they really teach it to like it is something else, okay? Uh huh. So look at chapter three and verse five, and it says, "And he amar, draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest." Is Kadesh ground. Yeah. So here, Yahweh is telling me how to show, how, how to show reverence to me. Uh huh. You pull off your shoes for this place where you at is holy ground. That's right. Respect. Okay. Respect me this wish. I'm telling you how to respect me, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Verse six says. Moreover, he Amar, I am Ha Elohim of thy Abba, Ha Elohim of Abraham, Ha Elohim of Yitzchak, and Ha Elohim of Yaakov. And Moshe hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon Elohim. He was afraid to look up on Elohim. We already know we had that discussion with someone. He tried to tell me that uh, that he would he sure was just telling the people that that were standing there that nobody seen him. You ain't seen his face, but I didn't see that in the scripture. The scripture said nobody seen him or heard his voice at any time. So that leads us to believe that wasn't the father talking. That's right, that's right. Teach it tell like this so Ham can know. So he was a representative of the father. Yeah, yeah. And I would believe it was Yeshua. That's it. That's the only one it could have been. been. Father, okay. Right? That's the only one. In his glory. In yes. His did it before he gave That's us. That's right. Before he gave it us for us. Come down here to be a human, okay? Uh huh. That was one of his uh, uh, offices. Yeah. So they don't know that you should have more than one offer, okay? So, but here, he wants us to know. He gives us a demonstration how we are the reverence. So uh -huh, we uh -huh. come in Yahweh's presence in the temple, we are to show reverence to him. That's right. Okay. We don't have to pull off our shoes, but we got to show reverence to him. That's right. We don't just come in his presence on the Sabbath any kind of week, okay? That's right. We must be humble. Whether we call what we call Cobb or what we 
call the Goe clothing come in with respect. That's right. right. Presenter, bro. Don't come in like you're going to the beach. Right, right. Tell it, my brother. That's not a reverence. That, that is not, not respect. no respect. People have, when I was coming up, people had respect, whatever it was, even for even the, the, uh, the blues artists, they had respect. <laughs> you didn't see an eight dress up. They were dressed down. Uh huh. They wore the best. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now, anything go you can anything. anything. So since they wear anything, people think they can wear anything. Coming in the presence of Yahweh to holler and shout in the man. No, that ain't what that says Yahweh. He got it written in his book. Right loud. Yeah. So, learn how to reverence Yahweh. Okay. Okay. So he. He said the same thing pretty much as Yehoshua Joshua chapter 5. So he wants a point to get over to us. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He wants respect. Yes, he does. He, he, he deserves it. Not Asatar. That's him. right. So, for the pastor, we're trying to have a field day in, in Deuteronomy 28. To try to say, well, see, this is what you do under the law, and this is what you do under grace. Huh. See, under the law, it says, it says, And thou shalt not go aside from any other dog of which I command you this day. So they got I here in verse 14 of Deuteronomy. But we know that had to be Yahweh. That's Yahweh. We know Those that. Ain't have no commandment. Those who Yahweh know. Already that's told. right. They put an I there. Mm -hmm. And Deuteronomy 28, 14, and Deuteronomy 13, I mean verse 13, they put the same, they say, uh, <coughs> say, and, uh, which I command you this day. Now Yahweh commanded him to tell the children. That's right. Saying, okay. So I, why would he put a capital I if he was talking about him? That's right. Which I command you this day to observe and to do them. No, that's what Yahweh commanded that's right. him to do and to observe. That's right, right cause ain't no hard got no want commands. To jump on all these seminary people who want to jump up uh -huh. on the bandwagon thing. So. He's telling them, this is like reverence what Yahweh told you. That's right. They don't want to do okay, what Yah what says. I told you. I'm going to repeat that, what Yahweh that's said. That's right. Okay. We're just the messenger. But they want to have it their way. Have they it their way, like Burger King. They don't want to have no law. No, they do not. No restrictions. Yahushua, Joshua chapter 5. But when they stand before the judge, uh -huh. they will say, oops. Uh-huh. But oops, it's too late now. It's too late. Better get it together right now. The sun is going down on you now, my brother. Yes, it has. Chapter 5 and verse 15 reads, And the captain of Yahweh Sabaoth, Amar unto Yehoshua, mm -hmm. Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is Kadesh. And Yehoshua did so. That's all. Just do it. Do what thou says, so Yahweh. He respected him, That's right? it. He didn't have to do it, but he reveled him by doing it. Uh -huh. He wasn't fearful, but he respected Yahweh. He right. respected the, the message of Yahweh, uh -huh. which at that we still are saying the word in Exodus is what Yahshua. He respected that, so we have to respect that. Okay, the sure. children of Yahweh's host have to be Yahshua. Praise our Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. He's saying, the captain of Yahweh's host, a martyr to Yahushua, loose thy shoes from off thy feet. That's right, right there, Yahshua. From the presence for this place, thou, where thou standing, is Kadash. Mm -hmm. And Yahushua did so. Not because he respect. When that's you respect it. You, when you respect people, you honor the people. That's, you that's it. People, you get come you over. Them. Uh huh. You honor them. You show respect. Yes, you do. So this is what he's doing. It's not that he had to do it. So we always have the opportunity to reject. Yes, yes, we do. Rebel and be called he is of the same lineage that Yahweh called him a rebellious and stubborn people. That's right. People. Uh huh. He's not the same people, right? Right, right. But he just didn't have that kind of mind. That's he right. Had the mind that Yahweh wanted him to have. Uh -huh. to respect him and reverence him. Right. Praise Yahweh. All right. 
For the power that he has. Yes. The yes. For the power that he has. Yes, the Marshall he has. For what he's done for us, right? Yes. All right, Philip, I mean, uh, Psalm 4 and 4. So we need to practice reverence, y'all. Uh huh. That's it. Teach it just like it is. Practice reverence, y'all, because mm -hmm. that's monumental in our. Right. Walk. Yes, I can. His if hand. If we reverence Yahweh, then we are reverence everything else. That's right. So we hold the reverence. You have reverence. respect for others, even though they have the wrong power. We still reverence or respect it. Yep, that's it. Because Yahweh put them in that power. That's right. right. Teach it tell like it is. Right? right. Right. All right. Psalm four and four says, "Stand in awe and hata not." Commune with your own pay upon your bed and be still. Selah. It's in what? Stand in awe. Yeah. And sin not. Uh -huh. So we stand in awe, we sin not. Why? Because we rebel. That's why right. we in awe of Yahweh's divine. That's why we sin not. That's why right. we don't intentionally like sin. We don't go out looking to sin. <laughs> we may sin. Yeah. But it's not a thing that's it's on our minds constantly. That's we right. We wake not up. Not anymore. Not anymore. We wake anymore. up thinking about how to right. sin. We what wake up going thinking about how to get into. Wicked. We wake up right. thinking how to commit a nigger. Uh huh. Teach it tell like it is. For them to know. This person don't wake up like that. He's standing yeah. in awe. That's right. We in awe of God's not. way. Commune up here on your. Commune with your own mind. That's right. Upon your bed. Uh huh. And be still. Uh huh. Still up. Mm -hmm. Then it say offer. Offer the sacrifices of Sadakah and put your batak in Yahweh. So offer the sacrifice of righteousness. Uh huh. And huh? put your trust in Yahweh. That's it. So if you put your trust in Yahweh, you believe that He is the Creator of all things. Uh huh. He's El Shaddai. Yes, he is. He's the Aleph in the top. He's all the that. The in the end. Yeah. He's the first and the last. Yes, he is. Then you will put your choice in. Yeah, praise the mighty God. That's right. We about to touch him. Yeah, everything that you see it stems from him. Yes. Whatever man takes and creates something out of, Yahweh put it here so he could do that. Uh huh. That's okay. right. So that's why we. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness. We offer the sacrifices of righteousness, not the sacrifices of wickedness. Uh -huh, not the anymore. Sacrifices of righteousness. That's right. And put your trust in Yahweh. We uh -huh. put our trust in Yahweh, not in what man said, uh -huh. but in what the word of Yahweh said. What the does say Yahweh? Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh only. Said, what the Barik said. Okay, because that's Barik said. Yep. Okay. Verse 6 said, There be many that are, who will show us any toll? Yahweh, lift up thou up the oar of thy countenance upon us. Yes. There be many that are, who will show us any good. They won't show us any good, or they'll show us good. Who gonna show us good? Yahweh. Yahweh. Lift thou up the light of thy kindness upon us. So yes. This is what we want. We asking Yahweh for His righteousness. We asking him for Him to lift for Him to lift us up. Yes. Lift His confidence up on yes, us. Yes, enlightening our pain. Mm -hmm. So we asking Him for Himself. This is yes. the thing that He wants us to have. Yes. Verse seven said, "Thou hast put gladness in my pain. Yes. More than in the time that their corn and their yain increased. Uh huh. So He's saying that you put gladness in yes, my mind. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. More than in the time of their corn and their wine. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. As it increased, as it increased, I still have more gladness than they do. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we do. Run the crop, but I still have more gladness. Yes, we than do. They Praise be to Yahweh. Yes, we do. Because I know the significance of uh huh. Reverencing you and respecting you right. and honoring yes. you and doing the thing that. You asked me to do right, and to buy time. You it's an honor you. Mm -hmm. because you can deliver what you said. Yes, yes, you can. Verse eight said, 
I will both lay me down in Shalom yeah. and sleep. Uh -huh. For thou, Yahweh, only makest me dwell in sleep. Praise the mighty Yahweh, God. Yahweh, the only one going to make Praise you dwell in sleep. Praise the mighty Yah. You got all the burglar bars on your house you want <laughs> and all the alarms you have. That's right. In Yahweh, is the only way you're going to be safe. That's the only you can way. You use those names, but <laughs> your your bar tower, your trust should be what? In, in Yahweh. Yahweh. Either one keep you safe. Yes, he does. Cause the burglar bar, there's somebody gonna take them out, but Yahweh gonna keep them. That's right. Safe, right. That's right. Yeah. Yahweh burglar bar, they can't take them. They off. cannot they touch can't, it. They can't break them down. No, they cannot. So if you represent Yahweh, He got the. Yes, He will. It's a promise. And you will see. Yes, we are. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thirty-three and eight of some. Praise the mighty Yah. So these are not just idle promises that Yahweh. No, made. they're not. They're sure. These promises are better than camel soup. Yes, they are. 3 8 said, Let all high errant reverence Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of Him. So again, it's telling us to stand in awe. Uh huh. Yeah. He said, Let all the errant reverence Yahweh, not fear Him, even though you got the English word fear. Uh huh. Let all the earth reverence Yahweh. That all the inhabitants of the earth do what? Stand, in, Stand awe. in awe of him. Just look around. You will be in awe. Look at his creation. If, if you had the sense that you were born with. Yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> you, will, you will stand in awe. Yes, you will. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. For? For he, Amar, and it was done. Yeah. He saw uh -huh. And it stood fast. Yes. Yes. Before he spake. Yes, he did. And it was done. Yes, it is. It's done. It's already done. He commanded, and it was, and it stood fast. That's right. So that's why we stand in honor, because he can do these things. Yes, he can. Yes, he has. We got nobody else can say it, hold up the no Nobody make this nobody claim. Else. Nobody. Nobody else nobody make nobody this claim besides him. Uh -huh. They can okay, make nobody. this claim, but they can't back it up. That's right. They are liar. They can't. Everybody can make claims, but they can't, you know, follow up on them, okay? That's right. Mm -hmm. People that made the false L's, they make claims for the false L's, but they can't <laughs> deliver them. No. Right. right. Okay. <laughs> but Yahweh ain't making nothing false. That's right. Yahweh, That's he right. spoke, he gonna That's perform. True. That's true. He's able to perform. Yeah. Yes, so he will. Yes, he has. Well able. To Bata or trust him, you will believe it. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Once you have immunar, have faith in his word, mm -hmm. you believe everything that he said. That's right. Once you Not come to know him. Believing, you believe him because you have tried him. That's right. Praise our seen Yahweh. That's seen his results, right? Yes, we have. But if you have not tried him, and you can't how, see the how results. How can you know? You may see something that happened to me, but you're going to think that was just an accident. Huh. If you <laughs> tried him or you parlayed to him at Pray to him and ask him for something, and he delivered. He would do the same okay. for you. Then you're going to trust him. That's right. Praise the mighty God. That's right. That's so right. If you don't try him, that's right. Then he can't perform. No, he cannot. Then you won't trust. He ain't going to force you. Right. So it's something you got to do. You got to do something. In order for your trust to grow in yes, him. Yes, you got to You got to prove him. Yeah. In order for you to reverence him and respect him, you got to better ask him for something. He done done something for you. Yeah. Not just one time, but over and over again. That's right. So the more you trust in him, more things you receive. Right? Yes. More blessing that you receive. Why? Because you're trusting him. Yes. But you want to not trust him, but you still want to get the result. Uh huh. You still want. You don't want to respect him, but you still want him to provide for uh -huh. you. Uh huh. But that's not happening, people. He got to be respect. He has to be honored. You got to honor him, right? Right. Verse 10 says, Yahweh bringeth Hayaads of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of Ha'am of none effect. Uh -huh. said, Yahweh bring the <laughs> counsel. Yahash or Asa. Mm -hmm. This one is Asa, and the other one with counselors is. Yahesh. No. Okay. okay. So he's saying this is what Yahweh does. So they are 
counsel, the counsel of the heathen to not, to nothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. He maketh the device of the people are the ends of none effect. That's so right. You got it, none effect, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said the counsel of Yahweh is what? It stands it. forever. Forever. Yeah. The thoughts of his mind to it's all to generations. All generations. Whatever he thought goes to all generations. If you yeah. brought time, yeah. listen to that. So don't think when you get the New Testament, his mind is changed. Huh. He said the thoughts of his mind go through all generations. Oh. He not, so that means he's not changing. That's right. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Perfect. See, yeah. what the word that all that went out of my mouth is not going to come back. Not void. It's not going to change. Nothing yeah, that's, say. that's right. doesn't need to. Why? You don't, don't have to change anything because... He's yeah. Because it's all told. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Yeah. So we, when we believe this, then we're rebels. Him. Yes, when we will. believe this, yeah. we we'll respect him. Yes, right. we will. Until right. we believe it. Until mm -hmm. we won't believe it. Until you get to know him. We won't reverence him. No, we won't him. respect him. We won't honor him. Yeah. We don't have this false honor. Right. Or false respect. Yeah. You know something. But he wants us to respect him in all things. In all things, everything in every your area of our life, we both yeah. respect. Every him. area of every our life. Every part of our body both to respect him. Yeah. We both to bring every part of our body into submission into yeah. to the to his will. That's it. The will of our Abba. It's our job to make our body line up That's with right. the That's right. Check yes. yourself before you wreck yourself. It is. So our body and members of our body, Reverend Yahweh, respect Yahweh. That's right. Yahweh, and they won't do nothing. Our bodies won't go against Yahweh because we have the command. When it tries to go against it, right, right, we straighten it out. That's right. Okay. Right. All right. Psalm eighty-nine. Psalm eighty-nine. Verse Psalms 89, let's start at verse uh, 5. And it read. And Hashemayim shall halal thy wonders, O Yahweh, uh -huh. thy immunah also in the congregation of HaKadoshim. Yes. The immunah of his faithfulness uh -huh. is also in the congregation of the Kadashim. That's right. I mean, right where the people that bought to him, them in That's yeah, right. They're saints, right. okay? That's right. You are saints. Not yes. When you die, he calling us this now. It's now, he calling now. us now. Right. right. When we are honoring and obeying him and walking, that's in right. Obedience. Right. He considers us as being saints. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he has. I don't have to go for a board of anybody. No. Pastoral no, right. board, and then so many years after I'm, I move. I know, they, right? They no. claim me to be a saint. <laughs> mm. Yahweh already claimed me. That's, that's right. right. You walk yeah. with him. You Yahweh are his cadaver. Right now. Okay, read. For who in Hashemayim can be compared unto Yahweh? Nobody. But Yahweh. So he's asking the question, but you should already know the answer. <laughs> Those who have his word in their house, have his book in his house, yeah. in their house, when they read that, they should say it just like we nobody. That's it. Don't hesitate. Nobody. Yeah, nobody. Right. Yahweh. All right, read. For who in Shemayim can be compared unto Yahweh? Who among Haban of the mighty can be likened unto Yahweh? Nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. 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 In this universe. It's called Yah is the greatest. Of yes. all times. Right. Verse 7 tells us. Yep. Elohim is greatly to be reverenced yep. in the assembly of Hakadosh, uh -huh. and to be had in reverence of all them that are about yes. him. Yes, right. 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 they put it there. They put the reverence there, uh -huh. other than fear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can see they should be in other places too. Yeah. yeah. But somehow or another, they put fear there. To, I guess in their mind, it's going to give you more. Uh, we ought to believe him because, hey, I fear him. You fear him because, you know, he's terrible. Well, you know, if you know he's terrible, <laughs> why not reverence him? Right. And just the same respect, right? Right. Yeah. But he's saying, uh, Yah is greatly to be reverenced 
in the assembly of the saints. So they're telling us some saints is already here. Yeah. They're talking about people down here on the earth now uh -huh. and in, the, in the body, right? Right, right. Yes. Not going to be, he's saying no. they are right now, right? Right now, right, right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. And to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. So if you're about him, that's what we about that our them, business. Them and that and our those three words could be eradicated because right. they mm -hmm. are in italics, right? Uh -huh. The reverence of all about him. That's the right. The reverence is all about him. That's the right. Reverence all, all about, about him. Our business. Yeah. Praise our Yahweh. Praise God. Verse 8 said, O Yahweh Sabaoth, who is a Koak Elohim like unto thee? Or to thy immunar round about thee? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, there's a no, no brainer right Same there. Answer. Nobody. It should right. be. Same answer. Oh, Yahweh of Sabaoth, who is strong? Who is a strong Lord, a strong Yah like unto thee? Nobody. Or to thy faithfulness. Around about thee. Nobody, nobody got the faithfulness. Don't have the hear me now around about them. Nah. Right? Nobody. Mm -hmm. So these are no brainers questions for they those. They should who be. By Todd, no brainers. You don't have to help That's you. right. You don't have to have a moment of silence to not, not, not a twinkle well, out. I don't thought. respond when somebody asks me this. Right away. Nobody. That's right. Be like the Hebrew brothers. <laughs> hey, we are not careful to answer you, King. That's right. We are not bound out. That's right. We not a moment of hesitation. Just straight out. Because That's right. You bought time now. That's it. You bought time his word and believe that what he said is in it. What he it said is. is true. And it is. Because we believe it's true because it is true. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. 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 It, it, it proven says, Thou rulest the raging of the sea, mm -hmm. yep. and the waves thereof arise. Uh -huh. Thou stillest them. Yeah. You still them. Can't nobody else do that. That's right. Ain't nobody got no Michelle like that. Mm -hmm. Can you believe this? Yes. Yes, yes. we it can. Of course, can you believe okay. this? Hopefully they the will. People we that can. hear it is, can you believe this? Yes. You got, it's a must. If you can believe it, you can receive it. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. And you can become a mitzvah of Yahweh. That's right. You can live it. Mitzvah, and you can be a saint. That's right. In his assembly. Yes. Okay. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. That's good. Mm -hmm. So when you sleep on that, you don't have no worries, right? No, we don't. Right. Psalm 119 and verse 9. Psalm 119 and verse 9. So. These are not just words to make you happy. These are words for you to build up your immune up. That's build right. Up your trust mm -hmm. in His Word. Uh huh. By reading His Word, it builds your immune up. Yes, it does. It builds your trust. You go, you go to the You see what He done for our ancestors that was obedient. Then you know if you do the same, you're gonna get the He'll same. He'll do the same right? for you. No different. Praise Yahweh. Right? That's right. You don't respect a person. Praise Yahweh. One, I'm sorry. I said one night. I mean one eleven nine. One eleven. Okay. Okay. It's my fault. Slow down. We excited about Yahweh's devil. Let's start at verse nine. Okay. He sent redemption unto his am. He has survived his bereit forever. Yeah. Kadesh and reverend is his shit. Yes. yes. Kadesh and reverend is him. So, yeah. uh -huh. stand up behind a pulpit like me should not be using that name, right. right? Right. Should not be calling himself that because he said, oh, That's right. That's right. Who? That's right. Teach it to us like it is. Say, so Yahweh. Who? Yahweh. Holy and reverend is who? Yahweh. Holy and reverend is who? Yahweh. So, if somebody is. Pulling somebody's strength. Uh -huh. so when you call them that, then you saying Yahweh is not that. Huh. That's right. You are denying him his honor. That's right. He yeah. said, Holy and reverence is my name. Mm -hmm. Verse 10 said, 
The reverence of Yahweh is Habarasheth of Kokmah. Yes, it is. A toll being uh -huh. that all they that do his <coughs> mishpah, his halal endureth forever. Yes, praise yes, to my Yah. The reverence of Yahweh is the beginning yes, of wisdom. Yes, it is. The beginning. beginning of wisdom. What is the beginning of the reverence of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, it is. A good, uh, and I mean, a, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. That's it. His halal endures forever. Forever. His praise endures forever. Ever. So there's no end to his praise. So if we, if they were praising him back here and doing what he told them to do, now we don't have to praise him, all right, because we, we ain't keeping his law. So we have to keep the law, so why we have to praise him? Right. Well, right. That's like a law. Praise Abba Yahweh. Holla Abba Yahweh. Praise Abba Yahweh. That's like, that's a command. Praise me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> holla me. Yeah. Right. But if the law is done away with, then we no longer have to holla That's Yahweh. right. Mm -hmm. Nobody that's thought and thought about that when they was doing away with the commandment, okay? Mm -hmm. Old understanding has, have all the that do his command. So you got a good understanding. Yes, we do. You have a good understanding. Yes, you will. That keep his command. That's it. You got good understanding. Yes, we do. Yes, so you will. The opposite of that, having a good understanding about his word, keeping his commandment, then what kind of understanding you have when you don't keep his None. None of Yahweh. When you don't keep his commandment. None what of kind Yahweh. What understanding that you have? None of Yahweh. So. Don't want, I don't think you want to be on that ship. All right, we don't want to be dumbed out. So, you know, like, take your time and let this sink. That's it. Okay, because it may be the first time you heard it, but uh -huh. how do you hear it? Right, you don't right. Have no, excuses. no, no more excuses. It. So, even though it's not sinking in, but if you're really seeking to know him, then you go back and you, read it some you're, more. You check it out These for yourself. This scripture is going to be flashed up on the screen, but. Then you read them some more. That's right. Keep so I didn't really get what you said, Brother Makai. Right. Let me read it some more. For yourself. And let it like settle in my That's brain. That's right. Meditate. Marinate in your pay. That's right. So it'll be mm -mm good, right? It is mm -mm good. That the bars of Yahweh. Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. Praise you, 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 Habakkuk chapter 2. Praise Yahweh. And we're going to read verse 20. I might back up and we'll start. Well, instead of backing up, we'll start at verse 18 and read the whole chapter 20. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Yeah. And it reads. What profited the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it, the molten image and a yara of lies that the maker of his work by talk therein to make dumb idols? Uh-huh. No. So what we just read before? Yeah. Good understanding those that keep his commandments, right? Say we don't worship idols, right? Right. So we throw away his commandments, then we can worship idols, so that let us know we, we are dumb. We are dumb. We make something and we worship it. We make something and we call it our creator. Uh -huh. We make something and we call it our creator. I know, right? I Somebody else makes something <laughs> and we call it our creator. I know, right? How dumb can you be? Did anybody tell you who made Yahweh? Uh, no. No. Ain't nobody tell you that. Okay. But the thing that he created, somebody took something took up something that he created and made an image and said this is your creator. This is what you should worship. 
or like one place where you may go out and cut out a tree, take part of it, cook the food on, take uh -huh. the part and warm himself up, right? And then take the other part and make a statue out and worship it. All right. So I can I dumb can you bit? Dumber than dumber. And then they had a picture out there, dumber and dumber, right? Yeah. This is dumber than dumber than dumber than yeah. dumber, okay? You can't get no dumber than No, you cannot. But you think you the wisest person that ever lived. So let's look at the uh, next way he says, I'm sorry. Woe unto him that am mar to the wood, awake to the dumb sewer. <laughs> Arise, it shall your rock. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, mm -hmm. and there is no Neshima at all in the midst of it. Huh. No Neshima, no breath in it. Huh. Now, if that don't make you know that you dumb, <laughs> I don't know what else going on. Uh, there's there's something there. wrong with it. to him that Amar sands <laughs> onto the wood, or arise, awake, to the dumb stone, arise, it shall teach. It can teach. You think it can teach? No. Mm -hmm. no. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath. No breath. At no, all no in life. the midst of it. No breath at all in no, the midst of it. No breath. No you, It don't have no breath in it. Right. Or the Hebrew word Neshima. It don't have no Neshima in it. No, it, it does can't not. breathe. <laughs> if it can't breathe, then it can't talk. No, it cannot. And it can't walk. Can't do nothing. It can't no, do no, anything. No. But stand in, and if you facing it, then it's facing you. <laughs> it's staring at you, and you staring at it. But it can't tell you to stop staring at me. <laughs> now, but you're rather than that 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 piece of stuff. Teacher, tell it like it is. Yes, they are. Still a reverend the Yahweh, still a reverend the Creator, you represent, represent a stone. Uh huh, some man, man. That he made. Yeah. Some of his creation. Right. Or a big stone, and they, they can make a big, take a big stone and make a statue. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. It. But it didn't, it didn't exist until that person made it. Yep. In the beginning, it was Yah. Yep. Whenever the beginning it was, Yah was. Great strength. Nobody know when the beginning is. They talk about 60 billion trillion years ago. <laughs> they don't even know what 60 trillion billion years is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big thing to make you think that they're smart. Uh -huh. 60 right. billion trillion years ago, they had no idea or had <laughs> right. no clue about what 60 trillion years ago. That's right, because they don't know of Yahweh. Right. So, so we are... These are the things we need to know. We need to revel and holler Yahweh all the time. All Show time. him respect. All respect time, is due no to Yahweh. Respect is due to Yahweh. Yes, respect it is. Honor is due yes, to Yahweh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. And we are to trust Yahweh. Yes, it. We should have Emina in Yahweh. We should uh -huh. have faith in Yahweh, right? Yes. Yeah. We should have. For the sanctuary, we should have. Reverence for his sanctuary. Yeah. For the sanctuary. This respect. Is what says, yeah, uh, respect. Look at uh, Leviticus chapter 19. For the sanctuary, we should have something. Yep. The sanctuary is to be reverence or respect. That's right. Okay, Leviticus chapter 19. So people, stop, you know, because you can, because you can. Captive mind, you got the power. Y'all gave you the power to do that. You go wagging up in your respective place with sharp bridges on. And then you can wag up there with no shirt on too if you want to, but hey, you're not honoring y'all. No, you're not. You're not reverend y'all. No you're respect. Him. Yeah. He said, pull off your shoes because you're on holy ground. He said, pull off your shirt because you're That's right. right. And women, he didn't tell you to come in the temple with. Sanctuary with heart to top, so. That's right, and mini skirts. Okay. Showing everything. Uh huh. Okay, I said 19. Mm -hmm. 19 and verse 29. And it reads Do not prostitute uh -huh. thy Beth. 
That's right. Cause her to be a whore. Mm -hmm. Lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of rocks. Yes, it has. You cannot prostitute thou best, your daughter. It could be physical or spiritual prostitution. Uh huh. Yeah. To cause her to be a whore. Yeah. Brother Makai said, read that in your Bible. <laughs> in your new translation, they might. Docked it up a little bit, but here it says a whore, right? So I'm saying, yeah. to call her to be a whore, let the land fall into hold'em. Yes, it, yes, it has. And then we know that it's happening. We're looking at it and right. seeing it all. That's land. right. Yeah. That should be evidence in your eyes now. That should, if that no first word, that should be evidence in your eyes. Yeah. That should be, that should be sufficient so you know enough that this is what has happened. Uh huh. It has happened. Because we have caused our best or our daughters to go a hold. Yes, we have. So the whole land is going to hold. Okay? Uh, become a hold. Wholesome. A hold. Right. Wholesome. Okay? Mm -hmm. And full of wickedness, right? Yeah. yeah. Because we are not teaching our daughters what they need to do, right? Uh, what they, what does says Yahweh. Right? So they're bringing them up to be looking that, like. That's it. Yeah, look at them clothes. They get their children. Look like what we consider way to the horse dress. Okay? Yeah, right. They are being dressed like Teach that. Teach like, it that, like it is. They think that's uh, the style. Right. Yeah, that's the style for Satan, but yeah, it's not the style it. for a believer. No, it's not. If not, you're not. a believer, you're not supposed to let your children. Well, this is how my friend, well, he, you stay with your friend. Yeah. In this house, you dress like you that's right. believe Yahweh. How y'all tell everyone to dress. Yahweh, okay. You're not just going to dress any kind of way you just call your friend. If your friend go jump off the sea tower, you going to go do that? No. Nope. Nope. All right. Unless you're foolish. And they going to sober up with his prayers too on that. But first, thing is said. You shall shamar my Shabbat. Yeah. And reverence my sanctuary. I, I am Yahweh. Yahweh. That's so what do right. you think what he mean when you're going to hit my Shabbat and reverence my sanctuary? So the, the sanctuary is to be what? Respect. It needs yeah, respect. respect. So you respect it. You don't just come in there dressed any kind of no. way. You respect. Right. You come in with a respectable attire. That's right. Y'all have standards. Yeah. But the standards of the world. The world, yeah. Is superseding the standards of Yahweh. Totally against Yahweh. And, and to get a uh, sanctuary full of people. Come any way you want. Uh huh. No, come any way you want. Come any way you are until you come to know how you. That's right. Until you come to know the power of Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Yeah, the standard for you to be in. That's place, right. Just don't come in there any kind of way, right? No. Right, right. Yeah, right. Verse thirty-one says, "Regard not them that have familiar ruach." Mm -hmm. Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. Mm -hmm. I am Yahweh your Elohim. So he's telling you these things now. Don't regard these. That's right. Don't regard these hand that have familiar spirits. So these familiar, familiar spirits that have you dressed in any kind. That's it. Right. Teach it just like it is. So yep. that's your consultant. That's your guideline. That's your where you get your intel from. This is where you get your advice from. Uh huh. Stop getting it. Yep. Because you're not pleasing Yahweh. Say, cut it off. All right, look at Ecclesiastes chapter 5. So, Yahweh wants you to respect his sanctuary. That's right. You can't come in here and get out of way. Respect his sanctuary. You can't come in here sanctuary like you are coming off the streets. Right. Like you're going to a party. Yeah. Going clubbing. I mean, Yahweh's sanctuary with the bridges drop down. No. Uh -uh. That's not respect. You're not respecting Yahweh. Not with no, no short short song. And you're not respecting yourself. No, you're not. So, worst of all, you're not respecting Yahweh, but you're not respecting yourself. Chapter Man. 5 and verse 1 says of Ecclesiastes. Shemar thy foot when thou goest to Habayat of Elohim. Uh huh. And be more ready to shema than to give the sacrifice of fools. Mm -hmm. For they consider not that they do rob. 
They don't consider that they're doing wrong. They don't consider. Uh -uh. So the people that are doing wrong, they gonna consider that they're doing wrong. Why? Because they've been told that they can't do wrong. God said. <laughs> okay. Because you sure did everything for you. So, uh, that's so they you say. You never do wrong. Uh huh. So they say. So, but Yahweh said, repent. You sure said. Through the Apostle Paul, repent and be baptized. So that means you can do wrong. That's right. Repent means you have to re change what you've been doing. Right, right. And start doing something else. From what you were doing, when you repent, you change from doing what you were doing to what Yahweh say do now. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, before you knew Yahweh then, you were free to do what you were doing because you didn't know him anyway. Right. When you were a sinner... You were free from the law of Yahweh. Uh huh. But once you become a believer, you're no longer free from the law of Yahweh. No, you're not. Right. And what they call the Old Testament or what they call the New Testament, you ain't going to That's be right. To do what you want. To keep thy foot when thou goest into the bias of Yahweh. Keep your foot, okay? Keep yourself right. And be not ready to. Be ready to hear, I should say. That's right. Then to give sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do wrong. They ain't consider that. Uh -huh. When they bust in here or bust in someplace with not the right attire. Uh huh. You know, appropriate attire. But what you got, you wear. But I mean, you know what appropriate. You know you're not going to come here like you're going to the ball game, okay? <laughs> That's right. For the football game or some party, you know you're not supposed to come in there like that. Yeah. Okay? You know you're not supposed to come in here with your short pants on. You know that. Mm -hmm. And your chest out. Uh huh. You know that. But hey, you don't think you're doing wrong. Hey, I got on a shirt. <laughs> but it's all the way down here. Over. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Who are you, who are you trying to tempt? That other way you're trying to tempt. The opposite sex uh -huh. coming in that way, right? Mm -hmm. The same thing we do with when the <laughs> our car or the woman come in yeah. with hers open up. Okay? <laughs> same thing. You're not coming to respect Yahweh. Well, you coming to right, try to tempt somebody. That's right. Trying to tempt somebody. You may not think it. Right. You're not trying to indulge your mind so you don't really, really think that that's what that's what's happening. And and just as you read, it ain't coming here ready to hear the word. No, they come to do evil. Right. And don't even think it's doing wrong when they do evil. Okay, next verse said, Be not rash with thy mouth, mm -hmm. and let not thy pay be hasty to utter anything before Elohim. For Elohim is in Shemayim, and thou upon Eric. Therefore let thy dabar be few. So let it be few. Okay. But you got people... <laughs> All the time, never stop. Okay? Loops, lips. Don't even take yeah. a breath. Mm -hmm. Right. But hey, he said, let your words be few. Yeah. So, by the words being few, that means you're gonna take your time. You when you, the words you're gonna utter, they're gonna be thought. That's right. You're gonna think about what you're gonna you gonna think before you speak. Right. Before you speak. Right. Yeah. So either be quick to hear and slow to speak. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the world we live in, we are what. Quick with his speak and, and slow ahead. Here. That's a that's a bad combination. Then. Yes, it is. Yeah. Bad going, combination. It's going backwards. That's a combination that you need to get rid. Of. Look at Yakanana John chapter two. Yakanana John chapter two. So we need to respect Yahweh's sanction. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's giving us some clues here. Whether yes, it is. Or not, that's on us, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Two fifteen. Yeah, you can read. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table. Okay. Why do you think he did it? They were not they, doing what they were supposed to do. Right. right. They weren't right. reverence the house of Yahweh. No, they right? didn't. Yep. They didn't have no respect. Yeah. They had no respect. He says, and when he had made a scourge of a small cords, he drove them out of the temple. Beat them out. Beat them out. 
and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes of money and overthrew the tables and and Amar unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my abbas buy it, a buy it a merchandise. So they had made the house of Yahweh a sanctuary of Yahweh what? Uh, uh, merchandise. Like they selling. do on Yah one. one. Yeah. That wasn't Yahweh, that, that what, that's not what the sanctuary are made for. No, it's buying not, it ain't that it's buying and selling. No. Sell. Right. When you see these people buying and selling tapes, on the end, and they would call it sanctuary. If you sure was here, he would turn over that table sure too. Was. Yeah. Tell you make it my right. house, or uh, then if that was his house, well, that's not. We really <laughs> don't think that's his house. Yeah. No, it's not. They're not doing what he said. That's uh, right. They're not calling up on his name. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Teach it just like it is. Calls or nothing. So <laughs> it's already there. So, but this was what he would say. He said. And he said unto them, Take their soul dog, take this, take these things, hence, take them hence. What take them out of here. Get them out of here. Make not my Abba's house a house of merchandise. So it's not like going to Macy's, okay? <laughs> or Sax Fifth Avenue. That's right, it's a house of Shaka. Going to Sam Club and buying some meat, okay? <laughs> No, don't do that to my father's house, okay? Verse 17 said, And his disciples remember that it was written, The zeal of thine by it hath eaten me up. The zeal hath eaten them up. So the zeal ate them up, but they don't have the knowledge. The zeal ate them up, but they don't have it. They got a zeal for it, but they don't have the knowledge. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They got the zeal, but not the knowledge. That's right. The zeal, but not the knowledge. So they got the zeal, but not the knowledge. So you got to have the knowledge. That's it. They got to work hand in hand. The zeal without the knowledge is no good. No, it's not. So look at, uh, got a reference to this that says the zeal. Let's look at uh, Psalm 69 and 9. Let's see how the psalm is. Sum this up. And 69 9. Do he have any? So we know that Yeshua said it there. He said it over here. That's the, right. Through the prophet. That's right. He nine, went back nine. to the old. For the zeal of thine by it hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. So he's eating me up over here, right? So Yeshua is saying he's repeating what he's already had that man of Yahweh to say. Right. For the zeal of That's thine right. bias has eaten me up, and the reproach of them that reproach thee are falling up on me. So the reproach that both be falling on us falling up on him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The punishment that went to him supposed to be what? On us, right? Yeah, yeah. Verse 10 says, When I wept, and chasing my nephesh with fasting, that was to my reproach. Uh, that was to my reproach. Okay. Verse 11. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. You become a proverb. We become a proverb to the, the masses of the people that call themselves believing uh -huh. in the Creator. Yeah. Why? Because we are different. That's right. They call us a sect, but they're really the sect, right? <laughs> right? Because they have altered the plan of Yahweh. They altered That's the right. Teach it just like it is. They made his word of not effect. That's right? yeah, yes, by they their have. own tradition. Right. Uh -huh. By their own tradition. By their own commandment. They made the word of Yahweh not effect to them. Yeah, to them. Not to us. Not to us. But they're trying to make it. Yeah, they're effect. trying, but they can't do it. But we're not buying. No, we know better than that. Okay. So he said, I made sackcloth also in my garment, and I became a proverb to them. That's what we are to them. Uh -huh. This is what we are to them who follow yeah. Satan or Hasatan, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what we are to them. Uh -huh. But it doesn't matter. That's what we are to them, but what right. we are to Yahweh. His very elect. 
Jesus Christ. That's what we stand on. We know what we are to y'all, what we had to them, no matter. That's they don't right. Have, they don't got Shabbat. That's right. They don't have the Melkut. They don't have the right. kingdom. No, they right. don't. They don't have the Lake of Fire either. Nope. Right. So, what we are to them don't matter. No matter. It's what we what are to Yahweh. That's what matters. That's what all that matters. Matter to us. Praise the Lord. That's all that what just us. Yahweh okay. says about us. So, that don't matter what Satan think about I know, right? Because okay. right. we know he didn't have no sense. He's right up there. <laughs> By Yahweh's throne, and he didn't—he messed up. So why would I pay attention? To I know, right? That's this. I mean, mind. that's like going out of the world backwards, right? Yeah. Paying attention to a crazy person. I know. No way. I'm not going for that. Uh huh. All right. Look at uh, Exodus chapter 33. Exodus chapter. I read that. I don't read that. But well, it's the same thing. For men, for men of Yahweh, for men of Yahweh, these are the things we need to do. Look at Acts chapter 28 and 10. Acts chapter 28 and 10. This is what men of Yahweh are supposed to do. Uh -huh. All women of Yahweh. This is how we pose the conduct out. That's right. According to the scripture, not according to that's right. what the world say, you know, the people according say, well, to what thus says Yahweh. You're not supposed to do that. How you know? Right. You know, you don't know what Yahweh said, so how are right. you supposed to act? Only person can tell me how I'm supposed to act if somebody done read Yahweh's word for themselves, right? That's right. 2810 says, <clears throat> Who also honored us with many honors. And when we departed, they laded us with such things as were necessary. So he said, Who also honored us with many honors. So when you are a child of the king, the other child of the king, children of the king, will honor you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, With many honors. And when we departed, they laid us with us such things. And we're necessary. That's right. We need it. They gave all they need.